We could have cut holes in this. Right. We, oh, missed opportunity. Warn, we could have warned them. Missed opportunity. Could have had your, your eyes through there. My name is Greg Nicotero. I run KB Effects Group in Los Angeles and I'm about to celebrate my 40th year in the industry designing creatures, makeup effects, monsters, killers, slashers, victims, you name it. Uh, I probably killed them or um, brought them to life. You and I, when we first got together here, we're like, hey, you know, we're, we're going to make a new leather face. And, it, and the clay is new. Let's start molding. Yeah. I wanted this to start with someone who obviously is an expert at doing it, but has that lineage of touching real things, practical things. Yeah. How do you bring, how do you start with that mindset? You, you have to put your head into the mindset of what's, what frightens people from a visceral level. What is it about? Michael Myers that's, a, that's terrifying. What is it about um, Jason that's terrifying? What is, it about, what is it about these? And at that point, you look at everything that came before. You look at the original Chainsaw movie. You look at Tom Savini's and really just seeing how that was kind of a, a, an empty canvas that you right. could kind of work in elements as to how you would want to. Would they use a full face? Would they use pieces of a face and stitch them together? Right. Sometimes for us, and I'm sure it's the same with you, we create our own mythology. Yeah. Even if we're wrong, you know, we could say, oh, well, he did this because that's what he, you know, that's what, we might not, it might not be anything that, that Kim Henkel or Toby even thought of. Right. Which puts you as the creative, if you're setting down to make a new leather face, you sort of become that killer in your head for how, what face would I have taken? How would I have taken it? And it started with that first conversation where we said the first film, when it starts, and it's talking about something happening in a graveyard, that someone was robbing a grave, and, and then there was some artwork that was created mm -hmm. using bodies. This was the family that went and did this. You know, they're the ones that went there. It's Hitchhiker and Leatherface went. Yeah. And we started talking about that idea of Leatherface approaching his costumes for the job at hand. It's a character. Correct. He's created characters for himself and those characters, right. it's not just like getting dressed up to go to a wedding. Right. Like if Leatherface went to a wedding, he would have a very cool, very cool mask yeah. and go with whatever he was wearing. Right. But that's what we were really focusing on and start talking about, okay, well if Hitchhiker wants to go and do some grave robbing, you know he's taking the muscle. He's taking Leatherface to help. Mm -hmm. Leatherface is going to be digging. Leatherface is going to be pulling caskets out, prying caskets open. In Texas, in the heat, uh, it made sense that he would uh, roll his sleeves up and, and the suspenders help hold the pants up while he's been over digging and yeah. pulling bodies out. I remember we had the overalls. The, the bib yeah. overalls was an idea at one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. There was some images that had kind of flashed into my face early on um, in terms of just the way the hair would look, wanting the skin to dangle yeah, yeah. Um, so that the skin is hanging off of the face. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, it wasn't as traditional as a lot of the other masks because it wasn't just a full face. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a single face um, that was cut out, but it was, it was multiple bits. Right, right, right. And the shape of the eyes. The shape of the eyes is always one of the first things because if you think about that's a, that's a draw on the face. Like yep. you, you always go to the eyes. Right. So I like the idea of using a mouth as one of the eye holes. Yeah. Silicone, if you, if, if you deal with silicone, material, which is what we use a lot of times to make these things practically, they have weight to them. Mm -hmm. So if you have, if you have a, a, a hole that's that big, it will tend to stretch yeah. and droop a little bit and yeah. distort. I mean, it's the signature look for this one. Yeah. That's, what, that's what set this apart. You, if you were in a dark hallway with a little bit of light and you just saw that screaming face, if yeah. the other face was not looking directly at you but he was turned away and you just his chin was down and all you would see would be the nose and the mouth and that 
frozen mm -hmm. in fear that he would turn to you. I mean, that... Terrifying. Yeah. Well, the other challenge we had was um, the Saul. You know, um, mm -hmm. the original 1974 film, um, Another Face Carries a, a, a Poulon Chainsaw. I remember our first conversation because, you know, when we started talking and I was all about the mask. Yeah. And then you're like... Okay, now we got to talk about the chainsaw. I went, oh shit! Like, oh no, I haven't even gotten there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still on this. Yeah, and you did exactly what you just did. You started talking about well, in the movie they use this, 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 and I was like, damn, this guy knows a lot about his chainsaws. Yeah, but, Ooh, I didn't want him carrying the same saw. I wanted to right. approach this differently, and so you know, I stumbled on this crazy mm -hmm. logging chainsaw that was, you know. It, probably 20 years even older than the Poulon. I think it's a 1950s yeah, model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and had a, a brutal look to it. Even the the edges of it is, again, the, the Poulon was, well, it was all sleek. Rounded. Yeah, it, it was, was all rounded. It wasn't correct. angular. Angular has a right. more industrial feel. That's right. To it. it looks more like a tractor engine with a blade yeah. on the end of it. It does. It looks right. like a piece of farm equipment. Right, yeah. right. Which obviously was how that was utilized and, and found. So yeah, this has been nearly a year for you and I working together on this and going through the different iterations and, and trying to land on where we both agreed this is the character, right? This is the, the grave robbing version of him from, from the suspenders to the bone bolo that he's wearing. Every piece of this we thought out for this character. It was a long road to get here, but I think it was definitely well worth it. And I, I want to say thank you for taking the time to tackle this with us because I know it's while it fits, fits into the same mold of what you kind of know and breathe it is still a bit of different it is it was different. really fun it was a different experience for me to to not only take a character that people the people know yeah. but you know sort of evolving it and and the amount of detail that we went into mm -hmm. to guarantee that it would be as authentic a character right um, that, that that lives in that world you know, that was, for me, uh, a lot of fun. Why are they doing this? 